Hey y'all, welcome to the Realm of Comics where we discuss everything comics, manga, graphic novels related. So today we are going to be talking a little bit about some 2024 new releases that are middle grade graphic novels. I have been trying to effectively keep up with all of the middle grade graphic novels that have been releasing. Of course, this is easier said than done, but I am slowly making my way through the enormous amount of materials that have been releasing. So I wanted to highlight a few that have recently released that I think you all should definitely check out. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. And if you're interested in supporting me, my efforts, the channel, and all that stuff, follow me on social media. All those links will be down in the description box below. Okay, so the first one that I wanted to highlight and kind of talk about was a wildful this is one that i was kind of on the fence about just off of like first glimpse and really kind of judging a book by its cover which i definitely know better than that but i wasn't too keen on reading this one and i actually just ended up randomly picking it up i checked it out from the library brought it home it sat on my desk for a little while and then i eventually was like okay you need to pick it up and read it or at least try it and it is one of the most beautiful graphic novels that i have read so far this year it is very simplistic in the terms of its storytelling. There's not a lot of text, but the artwork is what makes it absolutely gorgeous. And it has this focus on nature that makes it very peaceful and, and calming to read. It focuses on a main character who is currently living with her mom and she is trying to do the best that she can to make her household more pleasant because her grandmother has just passed away and her mother has not been able to really cope with the passing which would be the passing of her mother and she slips into what is portrayed as a sort of depression and she's not coping well and so the daughter is in some ways emotionally and mentally kind of on her own and when she's walking her dog one day she finds this offshoot of her neighborhood which expands into this beautiful beautiful like nature scenery aspect and at first i was like i didn't know where it was going i didn't know if it was going to get kind of like spooky or thrillerish but really what it focuses in on is kind of taking a moment and just being still and appreciating the silence and the calmness that comes with nature and how it can bring us peace um, how it can bring us like resolution how even in the deepest darkest moments of our depression it can give us some light to appreciate the untouched aspects of nature the the pieces of nature that humans haven't been able to lay their hands on it was beautifully beautifully done I really really enjoyed it if you're looking for something that's very much so heavily based on the artwork not a lot like I said it's not a lot of text but the artwork is doing a majority of the storytelling I highly recommend picking that one up the next one that I have is day of the living live I just wanted to make sure that I got it correct this is the first in what appears to be a series of graphic novels that are going to be released this year the second one in this series it should already be out i need to go ahead and put it on hold so the story it felt itself focuses on a main character by the name of liv who ends up moving to this town that is filled with all types of spooky creatures beings and she has a difficult time adjusting from her old town to this new town and i think that what's interesting about this it's very almost slice of life ish but with a paranormal twist because it kind of hits the major points of any typical middle grade experience or middle school experience uh, you know attending a new school making new friends trying to adjust to being like the outlier of the group because everyone in this school has some type of paranormal aspect to them and she's the only human that is attending this school i think that that was a very unique way to capture that experience because i've seen the middle grade and middle school experience be captured before in a graphic novel but the paranormal twist does add a little oomph to it that i really really appreciate i thought the artwork was really great charming added to the whole context of the story i think that one thing going into this one if you're an adult reading this one you have to be mindful of your perceptions of it because there are a little or a couple i should say of things that you are going to want to know more about namely with me reading it as an adult i wanted to know like what was a rivalry between the two towns because the town that Liv came from seems to be like a town of the living and this seems to be like 
a town of the dead paranormal and there seems to be some type of conflict between the two of them but you don't really get that in the context of the story and then also Liv's parents are kind of unaware of all the paranormal things that are happening so it makes me wonder if they just don't notice or is this your typical parents and kid lit who are kind of oblivious to some things so there are a couple of things that you may notice as an adult that I wanted to let you know like forewarn you going into but I think from the perspective of like a kiddo reading this they would really really enjoy it. The next one that I have on my list is Next Stop and this is one that I feel like the cover is going to fool you a little bit like it's it's really really interesting because I think that it's like really really bright and it feels very like road trip style but there's more to the story than what you expect. So next stop focuses on the main character who is going on this road trip. She was supposed to originally go with her father um, and there's a lot going on in the background with the family dynamics especially with the mother and I I don't want to give away too much because I feel like the joy of reading this was kind of watching the story slowly unfold so one aspect of the story is that um, she's going on this road trip and this road trip is supposed to be to like this secret spring water area and the character wants to go there for a reason because they've heard of like healing properties and the thing that this this body of water can do. We were originally supposed to go with their father but the father ends up injured and so she has to go by herself and she's under the care of an adult that's close friends with the father and while she's on this trip there's a lot of healing, a lot of discussions about why the family dynamics are so different, why she wants to go to this spring, why she kind of operates the way that she operates. This was a very hard-hitting emotional graphic novel and I did not expect it to be that way. There's definitely content warnings for uh, depression, suicidal ideation, as well as death of a loved one. And so all of that kind of unfolds as you go through each section. There's also kind of this like magical essence to this that I did not expect but absolutely adored and loved. The next one that I have is Mission One, the Vice Principal. This is a uh, mashup between um, Kekla Magoon um, and Cynthia um, Smith and I like that we had representation of both the black community and native indigenous community as well. So it is about these two cousins who end up having to um, stay with their, their grandmother. They're living with their grandmother and they come from two very different backgrounds, two very different personalities and they end up having to go to the same school. So the two of them kind of do their like own separate thing when they end up getting to this school. Um, we have one character that's really interested in robotics, another that's interested in um, gymnastics, and they realize that there is something going on at the school and they think that the best way to do it would be to run for student council and help, but then they realize that the problem is much bigger than they anticipated and that there's a lot of money and power involved and so they have to work together to stop would inevitably from the title the vice principal from ruining the school but I think this one was really really fun um, a lot of cultural things in this one a lot of um, talking about like teamwork and, and family um, relations and how even knowing somebody when you're younger being close to somebody when you're longer, younger when you're a, a family member can definitely change as you get older especially if you don't spend as much time with them the artwork in this one was really really fun I'm excited because I'm pretty sure that this one is going to be a series and I'm looking forward to the next installment all right and the last one that I have to recommend is The Adventures of Invisible Boy. This one is very comical, lighthearted. It's a graphic novel that doesn't really take itself too seriously. It focuses on a main character who kind of like wants to disappear, um, doesn't want to be told what to do, doesn't want any type of responsibilities. And all of a sudden, randomly, there's this stuff that spills on him and it makes him invisible. And he's really, really happy about it. But then the inventor of the invisibility stuff is not happy about it at all and so what ends up happening is that the inventor ends up taking out his frustrations on everybody that's in the town and the main character whose name is Stanley is trying to stop all of these things from happening and it's interesting because the two of them kind of enter like this kind of back and forth battle which I thought was really really cute like I said this is one of those graphic novels that doesn't really take itself um, seriously when I was reading it it reminded me a lot of Dexter's Laboratory I don't I don't know why um, but I think that it is simplistic in its development but it's one that younger readers I think would readily enjoy and I, I think that this one 
is going to be a series too. The way that this one ended, I'm like 99% sure that this one is going to be a series. Alright y'all, so those are five 2024 middle grade graphic novel releases that I think you will enjoy and I highly recommend checking them out. Stay tuned as I continue to read more and I'm able to recommend some more graphic novels for y'all. Alright, I'll be back with a, another video soon. Bye!